Now, first warning weather with Jim Spencer. Good evening. It's a warm and muggy night. Skies are clear across the capital city. The temperature right now at 87 degrees. Our planning forecast by morning, not so bad at 75. Warm and muggy with some low cloudiness. Already close to 90 degrees by the noon hour tomorrow. And our afternoon high temperature in the mid 90s. But with the high humidity, you know how that goes. It'll feel between 100 and 105 degrees much of the afternoon. At this hour, it's still 90 degrees in Georgetown. That's not a heat index. That's the temperature in Georgetown. Down right now. 84 degrees over in LaGrange, still 88 degrees out in Lano. Now let's look at the heat indices. This is how hot it feels here at 10 o'clock at night with the humidity being as high as it is. 96 in Georgetown, uh, 92 down in Lockhart, 93 degrees the current heat index out there in Lano. In the city, skies are clear. It is 87 at Camp Mabry. It is 85 degrees at ABIA. Look at those dew points at 72 and 73 degrees. Very muggy with south southeasterly winds off the Gulf tonight at 7 and 10 and a south wind at 8 miles per hour at ABIA on this, the longest day of the year. First day of summer. 535 medium, the mole count today. Our allergy forecast for tomorrow, mole should remain in that medium category. Around Texas tonight, it's warm, it's muggy just about everywhere. Uh, 88 degrees up in Dallas, still a 90 in Midland. It was 100 or above today from San Angelo all the way out to El Paso where it's still 93. Uh, around the state, well, we've been high and dry all day long. You can kind of see how the clouds are circulating around us. That's because there's a ridge of high pressure that is centered on top of central Texas right now. Now, the next two to three days, this high will lift a little bit to the north. The easterly flow underneath it will allow a little wave of instability here in the central Gulf Coast to maybe bring a rain shower to our area. We don't show that happening tomorrow. It's a little closer to the Gulf Coast. Day after tomorrow, could get a couple of rain showers, maybe a thunderstorm, especially east of Austin. Austin and uh, generally the coastal plains areas where most of that rain would likely fall. Now, we do have that little disturbance we were talking about earlier out here in the eastern Caribbean Sea. This is a getting better organized tropical wave, and it is going to be moving to the west. The National Hurricane Center now says there's at least a 50-50 chance that this be could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm within the next two days. Then what happens? Take a look at these hurricane model tracks. All of them, Take them. Take this storm into the Gulf of Mexico. One across the Yucatan into the southern Bay of Campeche. This one veering a little more toward South Texas. A third model up toward the Middle Texas coast, maybe Houston. And then two other models, unfortunately, turn this thing up here, maybe toward the uh, Deepwater Horizon oil spill area. And another one taking it there into the uh, west coast, southwest coast of uh, Florida. This could be just potentially disastrous as it could spread that real thick oil that so far has remained off the coast uh, well inland and across uh, much greater areas. There's never been a major oil spill hit by a hurricane. Close call in 79 with Henri that got very near that Ishtok well down there in Mexico. That actually helped clean the beach a little in South Texas, so they say, but this could be a whole different story entirely. Okay, there you go. The lows tonight in the 70s, the highs tomorrow in the mid-90s. Tonight in Austin, 75. Low clouds coming in, 96 tomorrow. Mostly sunny with south-southeast winds at 5 to 15. On the seven-day forecast, uh, we're going to keep it just real summer-like with that slight chance of a rain shower Wednesday and Thursday, especially east of the Austin area through the weekend and into early next week keeping in mind that we will have to pay close attention to what happens with that little disturbance out there in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, or potentially in the Gulf of Mexico, before the weekend. On Austin News Today, we'll bring you the latest on this summer-like weather every 10 minutes along with traffic beginning at 5 in the morning. You know